Man, oh man, I didn't realize we had so many horses qualifying and schooling until I got to the barn today. I had to go with a couple of horses that were training tomorrow, the babies. Wanted to make sure they were all right. Wanted to go a slow mile with Royce and Punch, see how he was. Uh, so a lot going on. Um, I guess we'll get right to it. Get up, uh, went to the qualifiers. Royce and, or, uh, Iglary M. Man, oh man. James said, oh, I went more than I wanted to. I said, go away. It's not like you. Uh, they went big fractions in front of that filly, and speed has never, she's never shied away from speed in her life. So it wasn't shocking, but a massive qualifier for that filly. She was very, very, very good. Very impressed with Iglarium today. She impresses me a lot, but to go out and do, I saw how quickly and how easily she qualified last week. I only went a mile and 2 1, but had to come 27 to piece 28, and she was wrapped up. The thing I liked the most about her today very durable, very handy. Right off the gate, James just let two go, sat on a helmet up tight, never put a step in. Then when he moved her at that lane, he sat on the helmet till well into the stretch. He could have went a mile 55 easy. Uh, well into the stretch, just sitting on the horse helmet, and then he wheeled her off, and she just bolted by. Just just a, a really, really nice mare. Very impressed with what I've seen from her. Now, a lot of people say, what happened to Stoneberg Jacotti? I didn't realize how bad he stopped until I watched the video after. Mario said the hobbles were on way, way too tight. And he thought that maybe he was a little sick. Listen, I know Aglary M went well, but that's that's a, a feather in her cap. There was quite a headwind today. And for for um, massive profit come 31, I was wanted to go a mile in two minutes, but he felt really comfortable in 2-2. Two, two. I think he probably needs another fast mile, and we'll get him one. But uh, he was good today. Hakati did walk. Now, we had trained him back without hobbles. Mario was worried that his knees are bothering him. Uh, he's going to need the hobbles. We'll put them on him. You know, uh, went out and qualified the horse today with hobbles on, kind of tight after not wearing them. He was tired, and he looked tired. And that's exact how he looked is exactly how he was. So I think the hobbles need to go out a little bit on Hakati if we're going to race him like that. But he's trained much better than what I just saw him go this morning. So I believe exactly what Mario said was correct. The hobbles were on too tight, tired him out, and he, uh, he finished up poorly. I, I guess it's exactly what it looked like to me. As he was explaining it to me, I didn't see the video until just a few moments ago. Yeah, the way he explained it to me is exactly how it looked to me. The horse just got tired out and walked on the end of it. Bolt Power was very, very good today. Um, didn't qualify as well as he did when I schooled him. Now, that could be for a number of reasons. Did James just give him an easier trip? And he went through the motions. Did you know because we were in a little more, uh, we were in a little more of a foot race last week when I really put him in gear. Uh, was the track a little deep for Bolt Power? Seemed fine to glare am, but was the track a little deep? What went on with Bolt Power today? Maybe he bled a little bit last week. Maybe he was a little bit sick last week. We did not scope him after he after he schooled. So I said to Harry, "Yeah, we probably should scope him after the qualifier to see how he looked." Now I haven't talked to Harry. I suspect everything's all right, but we'll see. And uh, if anything was inconclusive from today, we'll simply take his blood tomorrow and get a look at it. But the horse that I saw qualified today is not the horse I qualified the other school the other day. He was on fire the other day. So uh, maybe something going on with him. Will DeWayne Hanover schooled well. Good in the trotting school. James trotting schooler. James followed a horse he said was in the open six, mo six months ago just coming back. Treasure T. I think he said his name was Treasure T. Anyway, you get over the half in six and a bet one a mile and two five. So I'm going to be as clear as I can to everybody. It, will DeWayne Hanover will need at least... At minimum, two schoolers, two qualifiers, and two races before we start to see her come around and be the horse we want her to be. It's going to be a slow grind up into top gear for her. She's flashy. She looks good. But she needs to be in shape and on her toes. That's going to take at least six gate races. Two schoolers, two qualifiers, two races. On the seventh start, you're going to see what we hope to see with it, with uh, Will DeWayne Hanover, but it's going to take those six or seven. Uh, peanut butter and jelly, yeah, okay today. A mile and two five, uh, last half in a minute, I believe they said, um, over Mohawk Oval. So, I mean, okay mile. Uh, show me 59, and then we'll talk. You know, I know that was a planned mile and two five, so I'm not really that concerned, but let's not get too concerned. Show me a mile and 59, and then we'll talk about what she can and can't do. I get no problem with peanut butter and jelly right now. Very happy with the way she did her work. Obviously, coming off another good night for the stable. We've been so, so fortunate this year. Another good night at the stable with Captain Mike Dio. 
uh, winning and winning convincingly last night. Very impressed with Captain Mike Deal. I like what I see there. So very happy with him. Um, as I said, we got no free lunch racing tonight at Mohawk. Good luck to everybody in the final of that series. Uh, a number of races coming up straight through the weekend into Tuesday into Wednesday. I'll be keeping my eye also on LD's Patrick seven hole in Saratoga and not pick to win. That's a little surprising. So, um, anyway, with that, I will cut you guys loose. Friday's over. Tomorrow we get a big day. For those of you watching the babies, we have all the babies. There are some scratches. Uh, a couple of horses had temperatures. One horse, uh, more than you, was castrated this week. Or, I believe, our last castration for a while. Uh, I'm going to have to go through the list again. I'll look really quick, see if I can get them for you really quick. That's, uh, that's my girl. Um, Lady All-Star. He is a scratch. He had a temperature of 103 today. So it's been three days of temperatures and sickness for the horses. Then they get over it. She's not going to go tomorrow. Uh, anybody else? I'm just giving a quick... I think there was two. Um, more than you know. More than you know is definitely off. Lady All-Star is definitely off. I'm sure there's one more horse. I'm almost positive. Oh, horn player. She had her OCDs out today. Um, I haven't heard from the surgeon yet, but I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, operation. Uh, she'll be back in the barn tomorrow. Mark your calendars. Two and a half weeks from tomorrow, she'll have the sutures out and start jogging again. So that is it for Friday. Tune in tomorrow. Six. We get five sophomores and the little four-year-old we bought, Alarm Detectors full brother, Horn Players half brother, will be training tomorrow also um, with the three-year-olds. So the three-year-olds we have tomorrow, I shouldn't have said this, Tioga, uh, Jason and two. Hold on. Grace, uh, Grace was one. Blue uh, Garden State Deal was the other. Tioga Sunshine was number three. Mario has two in World for Two. And Renegade Gypsy, I got through them all. And then, uh, obviously, we got uh, Laugh Now, the four-year-old. So six horses going. 7.30 post for the three-year-olds. Curtis has got a lot of work to do tomorrow. He's got to be somewhere. He has to leave at noon. So we're looking for a 7.30 start for the three-year-olds and then right into the two-year-olds. We have to be. I'm going to try and be on the track at 7.20. So I know everybody's used to us saying 8.30 and we start at 8.45 or even 9. It will be a 7.30 post time for set number one, the three-year-olds tomorrow, and the two-year-olds right after that. So with that, I will talk to everybody very, very soon. Good luck to the No Free Lunch crew tonight. Take care.